Here is my top 10 hidden features in the Arduino IDE version 2 that will improve your coding experience. Get ready to explore these under the radar capabilities. So open your Arduino IDE and follow me along as we discover together these hidden secrets. Let's kick off the list with the icon theme. Open the command palette by hitting Ctrl Shift P and search for user settings and click on open user settings. Now search for icon theme. Select the file icons Tia theme. That's the only option, but your file tabs have now icons to distinguish the different types of files you have in your projects. And the settings tab now stands out with a nice icon. This will improve your navigation through your project files. Next on the list, cursor settings. Now select the settings files and I'm pretty sure you will find it easily with the icon. Search for cursor. There are five cursor blink to choose from and personally, I like the expand blink. You can even change the cursor style. Let's test the block outline option. So by customizing the cursor's appearance to your liking, you can maintain better visual tracking of its position in the code. Moving on to the telemetry setting, a critical feature for privacy enthusiasts. Search for telemetry. You can turn it off if you care about your privacy and don't want to share your usage patterns and behaviors while coding. This step ensures that no information leaves your development environment. Next up, the compile verbose setting. Search for verbose. The compile verbose provides detailed feedback on the compilation process by displaying every step the compiler takes to build your sketch. Halfway through our list at number 5 is the word wrap setting. If you have long lines in your files and you are tired of using the horizontal scroll bar, go to the settings and search for wrap. Enable this feature to toggle word wrapping. This can be useful if you have a small screen. Let's move to the folding setting. When you move to the left margin of your code, carrots appear to allow you to collapse sections of code to concentrate on other parts. Now in the setting, search for folding and under show folding controls, choose the option always. This will make it easier to reach the carrots to conceal the code you are not working on so it doesn't distract you and enhance your concentration. Number seven is a personal favorite, the format and paste setting. If you paste code into your file, you will notice that it is not formatted and messy. Let's change that. Search for format and paste in the settings and enable it. From now on, every piece of code you paste will instantly shape up, aligning neatly with your existing code structure. Number eight is the vertical scroll bar width. If you struggle to grab the slim vertical scroll bar, you can increase its width. In the settings, search for scroll bar. Increase the width to your liking. Let's try 20. Now it's much easier to grab. Coming in at number 9, and also a top pick for me, it's the duck panel setting. You are probably accustomed to see the serial monitor at the bottom of your screen. Did you know that you can reposition it? Let's do it. In the settings, search for duck panel. Choose the right option. And now the serial monitor will always appear to the right for a side-by-side -side view of code and the serial monitor. A small change for a smoother coding experience. Rounding out our top 10 is a true game changer, the editor minimap. If you're dealing with large files where you find yourself endlessly scrolling this is for you. Go to the settings and search for minimap and enable it. Now you have a bird's eye view of your code on the right side of the editor. It allows you to quickly scroll and navigate different sections of your code. It's a powerful visual aid that helps you grasp your code's overall structure, making it significantly easier to work with large sketches. We have just scratched the surface of what's possible with the settings in the Arduino IDE version 2. 
There are plenty more to discover that can tailor your coding experience to your preferences. Dive in, explore, and don't forget to share your favorite finds in the comments below. Your insights might just make coding even more enjoyable for someone else. Thanks for watching and happy coding.